What's up, Cold Season family? Today's Bible study, you know what I'm saying? Winning the war in your mind. We're on day four. We're going to get straight into it. The second tool for changing your thinking is the rewire principle. Rewire your brain. Renew your mind. Rewire your brain. Renew your mind. Any trigger about money leads me to fear, thoughts of how I don't have enough, and my need to save more to create security. When I am triggered about money, I fall into a rut. That's the way my brain works. So I need to create a trench of truth. The good news is that the Bible speaks to all our problems. God's word gives us truth that empowers us to break out of the old ruts of our destruction and onto a new path that leads to life. What does the Bible say that applies directly to my fears and issues about money? Here are some of my verses. I know what it needs to be. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, Philippians 4.12. I know what is to be in need. I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Philippians chapter 4 verse 12. I will save you and you will be a blessing. Zechariah chapter 8 verse 13. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts chapter 20 verse 35. God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Jesus Christ. God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. From, from these I put together what I call a declaration. What I am declaring to be true in my battle against the lies, I am tempted to believe the goal of the declaration is to have it become my new neural pathway, my intentionally dug trench of truth. Here's my declaration based on God's word. Money is not and never will be a problem for me. My God is an abundant provider who meets every need. Because I am blessed, I will always be a blessing. I will lead the way with irrational generosity because I know it's truly more blessed to give than to receive. That's just one of my declarations that speaks directly to a problem that has plagued me for years. These statements create a new pathway leading to peace and generosity. What new neural pathway do you need to create? That depends on your old pathway, right? Draw your declarations from God's truth and make them your own. Be creative. Write your declarations in a way that will speak to you and inspire you. Put them in places where you can quickly see them and memorize them. Put them in the notes on your phone so you can immediately swipe away and scroll to them. Record them in your voice memos and listen to them as you exercise or drive. Repetition will dig your trench deeper and deeper, making the new pathway easier and more accessible. Write your declaration as if it were already true, even if you don't fully believe it yet. With the new declaration, we are claiming that the victory we have in Christ and we need to create a neural pathway that affirms our ability to demolish the stronghold and win the battle. All this might feel foolish at first. Remember, 
anything new can feel strange in the beginning. You will be saying something you want to believe, but your life will be saying something different. That's okay. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up. The gravitational pull toward your old negative thoughts will likely be stronger than you can imagine. Resist those lies. Keep renewing your mind with God's truth and it will become true of you. Philippians chapter 4 verse 12. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Meaning, you have to learn to adapt to every situation, whether you're in a good situation or a bad situation, you have to be able to stay grounded, balance out the highs and lows, never get too comfortable, and always be able to adapt and keep God at the forefront of your life. Always give praise to God, whether you're feeling down or feeling good. Never forget God, always be with God. Zechariah 8. Just as you, Judah and Israel, have been a curse among the nations, so I will save you and you will be a blessing. Do not be afraid, but let your hands be strong. 2 Corinthians 9. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. I think I need to say it again. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. God will bless you. God will bless you and he will bless you. You will have everything that you need and you will continue to be good at what you are doing by being disciplined following God's word and working hard and staying consistent, never giving up, keeping a positive attitude. You do these things and God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Philippians chapter 4. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Do not fall victim to the things you see of this world. Do not fall victim to the devilish music that you listen to. Do not fall victim of all the content people are posting that is very borderline of sin or that is sin. Do not fall victim to all the false idols out there. Do not idolize anyone besides God. Do not fall victim to sexual immorality do not fall victim to adultery do not fall victim to wanting to fit in with the rest of the crowd do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed 
by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good pleasing and perfect will Romans chapter 12 God the Father we thank you for another day of life Lord Jesus we thank you for your sacrifice and appreciate you and love you for everything that you've done we thank you for being the perfect role model the son of man the Messiah we truly appreciate you and humbly thank you for everything God the Father we thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit we thank you for blessing us with all the talent all the skill all the looks the height all the abilities all the secret hidden talents everything that you've given us God the Father we truly appreciate we thank you for the ability to work hard every single day we thank you for keeping us strong keeping us healthy we thank you for continuous, continuing to watch over us and guide us and keeping us safe throughout all our endeavors. God the Father, we truly love you and thank you. And we're with you forever. In Jesus' name, amen. And that is the end of today's Bible study. Please rewatch this video and rewatch it again and then take notes very important the renewing of your mind will change your life for the better get closer to God win the war in your mind coldseason.com for all merch 10% of all sales go to our feed the homeless program all you have to do is go to coldseason.com pick out any merchandise item add that item to your shopping cart purchase that item and 10% of that sale goes to our feed the homeless program where we go out and feed the homeless you know, times are very hard, as they always been in certain areas of the world. But even in your hometown, there's lots of homeless people that just don't have money to eat, and they're very hungry, and it's a sad thing. So we like to help out that way. But if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate all support. Postseason.com. All right, I'm gone.